Exercise 48, Substitute Function, from the Excel 2007 Core Exam Prep Guide, brought to you by Shift Key Solutions. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is the final exercise of the Excel 2007 Core Prep Guide. So in this exercise, we're looking at the new email address. And in our scenario, we have updated our email address. We've actually updated the domain name of the email address. Everything else remains the same. So we want to use a little function called substitute. And what we want to do is we want to substitute the last part of this email address with something new. Here's how it's going to look. We're going to begin with an equal sign and then start typing substitute. And there it is. I press tab. And it's asking me what would I like to substitute. Well, I want to substitute what's inside of cell D3. So I'm going to put in D3, comma, and then it says old text. See how it says old text here in my screen tab? So I want to type in and identify exactly what I want to replace. And that's going to be itschools.edu. And then close quotations. Oh, I didn't put a open quotations there, so I'll go back and open quotations. There we are. And then comma, and then open quotations. And now it says new text. What do I want to enter and replace that with, or substitute it with? In this case, I want to put ituniversity.com. And then close quotations, and then close parentheses. Let's see if it works. I'm going to click enter check mark, and look at that. IT University has been has been substituted for the IT schools. Now if I fill this down, wow, I've auto fit this. Piece of cake. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes all of our exercises. I hope this was informative and I hope you learned something from this. If you didn't know some of these things before you started, well, now you know, and I encourage you, and I truly hope that you go out and share this information with as many people who are interested in learning it. Thanks a lot, and take care.